fuselage construction, step eight. In this step, the only real thing that we can do is to take the firewall and glue it here on the front of F3. Um, this is easily done with epoxy and uh, when that is finished they want us to make um, a box for the motor. Now there are these um, plywood pieces that are glued together according to how, what they are numbered and with that you get both the down thrust and the side thrust, the right thrust, that the motor is supposed to give uh, for an aeroplane of this kind. Now, I don't have a motor at the moment. Uh, I've ordered one uh, and it, it takes a long time to get here. But in the meantime, I printed out a picture of it and I've pasted it to this drawing behind me. Uh, I'll show you. Here is the um, the one-to-one -one scale um, printout of the motor, of the engine, um, sort of in place where it's supposed to be. Now, there's uh, about six millimeter gap here from the uh, back plate of the motor, of the engine, uh, to the front of the firewall here, or the uh, engine um, wall. To um, bridge that gap, I might put in um, some uh, some plywood or or something, but I don't really want to do anything until I have this motor in hand and can um, um, see what is used to uh, bolt it on. There might be some extensions or something that I'd have to use. So until then, I'm not going to finalize the engine mount. Here I've uh, covered the firewall with some epoxy and I'm going to tape it to the front of the fuse and then uh, weigh it down with, with these bags of sand. Now the, um, um, the engine box is fairly simple. Um, to begin with, we um, take a 54 and there are two of those and we glue them together. But the thing is, they're not equal in size. Uh, this one is a little bit shorter and that is because the um, the bottom, F53, is supposed to come like this, at an angle. So we'll have to um, sand a diagonal on this, an angle on it, to, um, to accommodate F53. And we can see this angle here on uh, F50. See that the angle on it. Now, to begin with, we start by gluing these two engine mounting plates together.
Now I'm going to glue this F54 doubled to F51 and it's, um, it matters which way it goes because F50 which comes here uh, to the um, to the left is a little bit lower than 51 to give the right thrust. So what I'm going to do is um, just put this down here and because this piece of wood has taken it into itself to bow a little bit which is not very good. I'm going to uh, weigh it down with pieces of steel like this then I'm going to glue this on with epoxy and keep it in place and perpendicular with this piece of steel. Um, this should hopefully um, come out correct. When it has, I can turn this around and put F50 uh, on this side. Unfortunately my my camera uh, finished the battery while I was gluing but um, here is the box with three sides to it and uh, there are two things that are um, should be should be um, easier to do now. One is uh, sand down this area here. It has to be in line here so sanding this one down now is uh, important and the other is that uh, inside the box we get these little uh, bits here called F55 and they align here at the back like this and it should be a simple matter to mark and then um, cut these bits so that they fit after the top and the bottom have, have been glued on. There you are. Easy. Well, <laughs> I cheated a little bit. I used the sander. So, it's, it's allowed. Now, um, F52 on the top. Like this. F53 on the bottom. Right, now we get F52 and glue that to the top and F53 to the bottom. Now because there are no straight lines in this, it's not going to be easy to use clamps so we'll just use some tape
finish, we can put these little sticks in here. I've already cut off the ends, so they should fit. And uh, we'll use some more epoxy glue. So here we have the box for the engine and before we go any further um, it's a good idea to take some coarse sandpaper, this is 80 grit, and um, sand it down. Now the last thing I want to do to this engine box is to put uh, these brackets on. They, I think they're made of steel or something and they are placed here and there are screws that go into the box and then there are bolts to hold it on to the uh, firewall. Um, so what we want to do now is to place these sort of evenly and then mark where the holes have to come. And now we just drill these holes. The instructions tell us, tell us to cover this engine, um, engine box with glass fibre to strengthen it, but since I don't have the motor yet, or engine, and um, don't know exactly how it fits, I'm not going to do anything more, and I'm definitely not going to fit it to the firewall yet. The last instructions in this step um, is to take these tiny bits of hardwood, F52, no, 56, and glue them to the firewall um, for, uh, to fasten the, um, the cowling. But since I don't have a cowling yet, uh, I don't want to do this. And uh, I might use other materials than this. I think this is a little bit flimsy. So um, I'm going to wait with this a little while. So until then, step eight is finished.